Right, so before we start, how old are you, Pete? Um, oh, 48. 48, so you'll be old enough to remember uh, Russell Grant yep. and um, Mystic Meg. Yeah. So they used to do the horoscopes on the TV and the Yeah, the, and the Sun paper, uh, yeah. yeah. And funny enough, back in the old days, people used to read the paper, read the horoscopes, they go, well, I ain't going out today. Yeah. But all that's gone now. Uh, you don't see that so much any, anymore. Um, do you believe in horoscopes? Personally, no. I, I must admit, I'm with you. I'm, I'm not really convinced. Now, apparently they say that people are uh, naturally drawn to their own star sign. Right. Uh, and um, I don't know if this is true or not, but apparently the Astrological Research Society are actually studying that now. And they develop these, these cards. Uh, and the cards basically have the, all the zodiac signs just written at random on the cards. Yeah. And the idea is that just by feel, you should be drawn to the cards that have got yours. Now I'm gonna mix them up because you've seen them and I don't want you remembering where yours is because okay. that's a memory test, that's a bit different. Um, but the idea is, is all you do is just, you just hover your hand over a card and just by feel, see if, you call, uh, if your sign's there. Now before you start, apparently if you're born on an odd month like January, uh, March, May, etc., this works better with your left hand. If right. you're born an even month, it works better with your right hand. So okay. give yourself the best chance yeah. and just hover your hand over that first card. Do you think your sign's on there? I do not think my sign is on there. Have a look and tell me if you're right. I'm going to look away because I don't want to know your sign. Uh, I was wrong, uh, we'll put that which isn't surprising. We'll put that there then. We'll call that the wrong pile. <laughs> right, okay. Which is confusing because the wrong pile's on the right, right and the right pile's on the left. Right, okay. Um, so... So you didn't think it was on there? I didn't think it was on there, no. And, and you was wrong, it is on there? Yeah. Oh, well, well, maybe if you try the other hand, maybe there's nothing in that hand thing. I'm going to say yes, definitely. So again, have a look, tell me if you're right. Uh, I was wrong. So, got that <laughs> in the wrong pile. <laughs> Some mind reader I am. So, so the hand thing's not really uh, doing much for no. us at the moment. So. No. Um, so try that one. No, it's not on there. Have a look. Tell me if you're right. I'm wrong. <laughs> it is on there. <laughs> Put it in the wrong part. Is this the effect? Yeah, it's great. <laughs> I could win loads with this. So again, uh, try it. Uh, try this one. I'm gonna say no. Have a look. Tell me if you're right. Um. I'm wrong. <laughs> That's all, all five of them I'm wrong. So, well, that actually pretty much uh, proves uh, that uh, um, this theory that you're drawing your own star sign completely wrong. Mind you, the full test actually uses 50 of these cards. Right. I'll be honest with you, I was only able to nick four. Yeah, I wouldn't have wanted to get, wrong, <laughs> get it wrong 50 times. <laughs> anyway, 50 cards. Yeah. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> So, but it wasn't a complete waste of time because it has told me something about you. Mm. This tells me that you're a naturally skeptical individual. I'm right. not saying you're not open, but you don't blindly accept what you're told. You're the sort of person who deals in facts, not fantasies. Oh, I'm, I'm so, not sure. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm just going to write down some impressions uh, that I'm getting about okay. you. And so I have got this bit right because, um, well, I didn't get it right. I got it all wrong, didn't I? Yeah. It's confusing me even more now. <laughs> um, now I, I'm okay. just terrible at this. I'm not 100% uh, uh, confident about this. Hopefully I'm not off by one. Right. But um, I think I'm going to go with this. Um, yeah. Now, I think with you, Pete, you're actually uh, quite an optimistic person by nature. Uh, would I be right in that? Yeah. Uh, and you're the sort of person that kind of bounces back quite easily. So you don't get knocked down, but you don't let it uh, affect you. You pretty much bounce back. I think with you as well, you're quite a creative person. But I think you also, you kind of go off on tangents and your mind works at 100 mile an hour. And I think as a result of that, you've probably got several projects that you've kind of started and you mean to go back to, but you haven't gone back to them yet. And they're kind of building up uh, in the background somewhere. Would that yeah. be accurate? Yeah, it's very accurate. Actually. Now, oh, now is, these, are, very accurate. <laughs> these are typical signs of a Sagittarius. Uh, what sign are you? Sagittarius. <laughs> you are. Yeah, when, I, when were you born? I am born December the 20th. Uh, what year? Uh, 1968. 
Like that. That, <laughs> <laughs> that is incredible. <laughs> that, that is, is brilliant. So good. I haven't actually seen that. Before. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen this effect before. <laughs> that is brilliant. That is great. 20th of December, 1968. And we genuinely didn't set anything up before. No, we didn't. I um, swear we didn't. Uh, well, in fact, to say a lot of people at the Circle have seen exactly that. Uh, that is great. Uh, that not is that great. date, but... Uh, <laughs> hey, that yeah. is amazing. 